What inspired you to do your work in human rights activism? Right from birth, you know, the life, uh, the life that I had as a kid, um, I mean, it uh, really, uh, you know, I, I, I realized that, you know, uh, my life would find a meaning, you know, only if I work in, you know, uh, human rights uh, centers and, you know, dealing with human rights issues. I felt like, you know, after working here for, for, for now uh, one and a half years, I felt like every time I go back to my room, uh, there is a sense of fulfillment, you know, that uh, you're doing something, you know, something for, for the people in Tibet. And, um, and a lot of times I, I, you know, I feel depressed because, uh, because we always deal with dark subjects, you know, people getting beaten up, arrested, killed. And it is really, really hard to not get stressed. <laughs> but then, uh, yes, um, we have been brought up in such a way that uh, uh, we, even if, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really religious in the sense that, you know, ritualistic, mm -hmm. but uh, I find uh, uh, the Buddhist philosophy very useful and meaningful in tackling with my day-to-day -day problems and, uh, and the stresses that I, that I have to face, you know, with the kind of work that I do here. What is your ultimate mission in your work here? What do you hope to achieve? Well, uh, here we strive to give uh, credible, reliable information about human rights in Tibet. We also rely on uh, official Chinese uh, sources, you know, information. Uh, we know that there are lots of uh, information coming from Chinese government, which are, of course, already in, in uh, in nature, and you really have to have that uh, background and experience to decode all this, uh, the, the, the kind of language that they are uh, speaking to you. So it involves a, a lot of research and understanding the background of how this situation uh, has come from. You know, you have to understand that. <clears throat> but basically, you know, I, 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 uh, we really enjoy, you know, our work. And uh, as I said before, you know, it, it, we feel like, you know, even if we cannot do much for people in Tibet because of the distance and because of uh, the political uh, situation, and there are so many barriers to, uh, to, to the things that we would want to do, but we cannot. But, but the small thing that we are doing here, I'm sure in the long run, you know, we, uh, I'm, you know something will come out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah.